is hot, there is no doubt about that. But when it gets like this, it's not just uncomfortable, it can be dangerous. The city of Hartford is trying to provide some options. There's just one word for a day like today. Hot. <laughs> hot, really, yeah. James Brown uses a simple but effective way to beat the heat. Yeah, a lot of water, soda. Well, try to stay away from the soda, but a lot of water is the best thing for you. He's going to need a lot of water today with temperatures reaching well into the 90s and the heavy humidity. You can see the haze hanging over Hartford. Debbie Chalori walks her dog either in the early hours or at night to avoid the worst of it. And unfortunately for Daisy, they're not out long. A little bit. We just take the shorter walks. We try to stay in the shade. Others try to proceed as normal. We found one fearless soul out for a jog, but most are taking it easy and trying to look on the bright side. I am in the process of losing weight. This is my exercise, so I get out, sweat off about 20 pounds, and I'm good. Others don't have a choice. Construction workers along Main Street in jeans and safety gear are still out on the sweltering asphalt. Even those just waiting at the bus stop have that weary, wilting look about them. The city is responding, opening cooling centers across the capital, eight and all, a place to come in and cool off and get some water. Even those with AC might need some help. Yes, but it really doesn't help on days like this because it's just, it's just so hot and muggy. It's really not doing anything. This extreme heat, just too much to beat. The bill goes up, but the, the heat doesn't go down.